Shabbat Shalom. It's been a while. I've been busy. I thought I thought I was moving. The house has never been so decluttered. And the house has never been so clean. So thank you to the potential buyer that decided to back out. I hadn't done the I was saving the, uh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I was saving the um, photos for last that are, you know, the the uh, pictures on the wall for last because I didn't want to take them down to the last minute. I'm glad I hadn't. See, she wanted to do it really fast at a very high speed. She was urgently wanting me to hurry, and I was going as fast as I could, but we noticed, my lawyer noticed, there was no purchase and sale agreement, so therefore, according to the general statutes in North Carolina, it wouldn't have been a valid sale. We had a settlement statement and a uh, closing date, and part of the funds were in there, but we didn't have the purchase and sale contract. Not good. So it's fallen through. I packed two-thirds of the house. I was leaving the bulk of the furniture, so it's okay. Didn't move furniture yet. Didn't have the, I uh, could cancel the U-Haul just in the nick of time. And uh, then I fell. I hit my head into the brick wall in the back uh, yard, pulling a limb on a tree. And the limb cracked and let go. And I fell backward into the foundation of the um, wall outside. It's a foundation to the front porch. Anyways, um, I nearly passed out when I went to stand up. And never go in an ambulance to an ER with purple bottoms of your feet because of your mulberry tree. See, this is a mulberry. And I have been outside walking on all these here mulberries everywhere. They've stained the street, in fact the pavement and they're all still a bunch hanging up there haven't dropped yet if you see see how profuse this is really bearing a lot of fruit and I've been walking around barefoot outside so here I was in the ER with the purple bottoms of my feet from all this everywhere now the doves have each couple has one sitting on an egg each so there's going to be 10 doves not eight put castor oil on that one's head i'm going to bring him in or her in she's got that head wound still from the rooster who's now dead from gracie so until that one heals i think i should bring that one in with the diamond doves I'll show you where I was trying to finish the job someone started. I think someone jumped on this huge limb and it's cracked up there. It's green. It's not hit by lightning. It was cracked way up here. So I thought I'd engineer a way to pick it up over that corner with that scarf attached to it and pull from that corner. That didn't work. Um, it's very green. It's way up high up here. Then I was over here pulling on the great big limb. And the ends here are kind of dry and dead. So when I was pulling on these dead old limbs that are on the hanging huge limb, I it let go and I slammed into that right there. 
See, I slammed into that wall right there. That, uh, that red next to the yellow, I saw the two blood spots. And then I felt on the pointy, the left side of the back of my skull, fell on this pointy hard rock, rock right here. And sticking up is, is hard. So I had a concussion Thursday. Went in at noon, came out at 5. A friend found me. I had told them to call them and tell them, the people that called the ambulance, to call him and let him know I won't meet him at 1 o'clock. I wanted to pay him back money I owed him for a long time. And I didn't expect to see him, but he found where I was somehow. He checked all around. When they told him I went in an ambulance, praise God, that was good moral support. Then I got a ride home, too. But anyway, I paid my deductible at the emergency room, $90, and finally they let me go. They finally gave me that CAT scan I was waiting for all afternoon. And I went straight to the utilities and paid my bill, because I didn't want it to be late the next day. He brought me there. Praise God, I'll sell the house though still. It's a hot market here. See, there's the crack right up there where you see it bent down. Right there in the center of the screen. That's it. That's the crack. And it's green, it wasn't hit by lightning. But the Lord sustained me and I prayed for him to bring me through it and he did. I called John in the ambulance. I said, Psalm 23 in the ambulance. I said, Jesus is Lord, my good shepherd, the Alpha and the Omega. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was having a cerebral hemorrhage. I, I couldn't walk straight. That's what was scary. I was walking like I was drunk, and somehow I navigated up there to the next street because no one was on this street on Thursday. Not those ones next door there at that White House. Not these people here. But I think someone came in the yard and started to pull this down. They didn't finish the job and I was trying to do it myself. Do not recommend walking on mulberries barefoot before an accident. Because you get no respect in the hospital when you get wheeled in with purple bottoms of your feet. Okay, hello everyone. Shabbat Shalom. The Lord brought me through. Oh, and I have a good... Wait a minute. I won't end the video yet. See how big they got already? Healthy. Healthy. Um, <laughs> I'm still doing it. I found a really good scripture today that kind of fit. And I like to end the video on a really positive note and I still can speak which is great and I, my faculties haven't been impaired from the traumatic brain injury the bouncing around of the brain the skull there's a big contusion on one side and a scab and a purple dot on the top but I'm fine a little dizzy last night I've been taking it easy I want to show you the scripture oh oh boy life is so unexpected sometimes and this is my little nurse last night he was licking my arm when he saw that I was stumbling a little I was good all day and then last night I started stumbling oh my blood pressure was 200 over 119 too Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Here it is. I found it. Hmm. Well, anyways, it talks 
about a lot of good things in this Word of God. I can't find it. Hmm. Because I don't want to misquote it and just do it from memory. Anyway, nice to see you all again and be looking at the YouTubes today. Yes, here. Psalm 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Psalm 37. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord shall uphold him with his hand. And that's what he's done. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom.